Welcome again to Assembly TV 2012. I'm Matthew Walsh, also known as Dot Waffle. Uh, we're here in the Compo Studio for the short film competition. Uh, this is one of my favourites. I first entered this in 2002, and yes, I was disqualified. <laughs> so I'm not bitter at all. Uh, with me, I have uh, three friends once again to uh, to talk about what we've just seen in the competition. Uh, first of all, I have uh, Jonas D6. Uh, we also have Crazy Guy, and we have Solarius. Uh, thank you guys for, for coming along. Uh, we've just seen eight entries. Um, I can't remember so many animated entries in a, as a proportion of the compo before. Um, uh, it seems higher quality than I've seen before as well. Um, uh, if we come to you first, Jonas, um, the one that I, I'm going to, to, to say about is the, uh, the Damn Creepers one. <laughs> now, uh, you and I, I believe, watched this, this last year and we both left out and it is normally one of those things that so it's a game of production and you shouldn't like it, but it was hilarious, it really was. Yeah, it definitely was. Uh, I, I think I sort of didn't like that it was so short. I mean, the pre previous year it was longer, but <laughs> excellent work. I'm not sure if, it, if, if it'll make everyone laugh outside assembly though. <laughs> That's very true, that's very true. But uh, generally, I thought uh, you know, they did a very good job and they made me laugh, which is the important thing. So. Yeah, definitely. Um, now, uh, crazy guy, you happen to have been in the jury, is that right? Yes, I was in the uh, jury this morning. And, uh, there was uh, 11 entries. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, obviously, some got disqualified. But uh, overall, the quality was, was uh, very good. and. Uh, now what you pointed uh, out to yeah. me just before the competition was that uh, uh, HBC, now they're, they're very famous here for producing fantastic works of, of uh, computer generated art in terms of uh, rendering and so on. Um, this was to, to quote the 1K demo competition that I did, a one trick pony. It was one effect repeated several times. It had a nice payoff but it was only about a minute long. Um, and what did you think about that? Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a sad thing that uh, they haven't uh, really... Uh, uh, a couple of years ago, they were asking uh, everybody to challenge them, but uh, obviously they've been uh, busy or, or something and uh, haven't really responded to that. The thing I think about HBC that uh, uh, we were discussing just before the competition is that, um, yes, they wanted people to challenge us, and there are people who are... Um, nearly as or maybe equal to uh, technically capable and there are people who are able at creating a good story but only HBC can really combine those two. I'm thinking about the one where uh, uh, it was a, a, a guy who was being approached by somebody uh, with coffee, if you remember the, the robot from Aliens. Yeah. It's, um, it's a bit of a shame that we don't get that kind of level of effort but then again these things do take months and months and months of work. Solarius, right so we've, uh, we've had you on uh, Assembly TV many times before. You have seen quite a lot of these competitions before. Is there anything that stuck out for you? I mean, you, we've got a, a list down here. Um, anything that uh, that kind of tickled you? Well, <laughs> <laughs> let's see. But, but first I would like to say that uh, it was unfortunate that some we had to drop some, some of the entries. Um, that was a decision made by jury and me, of course. Uh, so I'm not blaming jury on this, but um, it it was just because of the length. Mm -hmm. oh, uh, we for 11 entries that would have exceed uh, our our time slot. So so we had to optimize a bit, and sure. unfortunately that meant that few few entries had to be dropped. But yeah, uh, HBC was. A surprise, as 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 you you previously said. Um, but one thing I would like to say about HBC is, it was although it was short, it had a good joke in it. It was very well presented and cute, and it was cute, cute. And well, I I think that the last entry, the uh, eighth one. Uh, the animals was uh, very well. It, it had a good spirit in it and sort of a message. And but but otherwise, I'm I'm very pleased to this uh, level of uh, quality that we are having. Okay. Well, I'd like to come back to to Jonas for this one because um, 
there, there was something which you spotted as well as I. There was a certain ship sailing in the, the ocean in one of those parts, <laughs> uh, which I believe you have a, uh, a little experience with in Finland. But uh, basically, the, the standard of the quality of the animation be it through Blender and uh, who are the people who do the render farm yeah. um, they they have really opened up the art of animation to, to those who had never had it before um, uh, what do you kind of think about animation in these competitions we used to have a separate animation comp uh, category after all I could actually think that we could use another category still for this mm. uh, I'm actually starting to miss many real filmed ones <laughs> here uh, and also a lot of the animations that could have also been demos, actually. Mm. If, if they, it could have been possible, actually, yes. But with the dawn of render form and so on, we will be seeing more and more animations. And it might be clever to have them as their own category. OK. okay. Uh, crazy guy, uh, going, going back again, um, we did see one which um, I, I said to you when I saw it, Asteroid Chase. Yeah. What can I say about that? Um, yes, there are asteroids in it. I didn't see much chasing. <laughs> uh, maybe yeah. just poorly titled. Um, uh, what I would like to, about that uh, was uh, it had a uh, good music, mm -hmm. uh, good uh, rhythm, mm -hmm. but uh, I think uh, the visuals might have uh, could have been uh, improved. A bit. Well, what I felt about the visuals was. Um, they were fairly basic, but not not too basic, and they, they worked quite well. But for a chase, I would have expected um, high velocity, something that moved quite fast. And this seemed to be more of a kind of saunter through the asteroid field, you know, not really going anywhere. And what I was reminded of was um, in the... Oh, God, people are going to kill me when I get this wrong. In this the second Star Wars movie, when they're going through the asteroid belt and they do the whole loop back and go into a cave. I was just waiting for that to happen at any moment. Something that kind of said, wow, look at this, this is cool. And I don't know, maybe something was lacking from it, I don't know. Um, going, going through again, I mean, we had Data Fox Studios, uh, Project Scene. Um, Solarius, that was a little interesting. Um, yeah. It, 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 it was fun yeah in 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 many ways it was uh, clearly it was a party production mm. uh, i'm not sure if that was done on the party base uh, from from the scratch but uh, that was made for party people sure. uh, there were objects objects which were provo provoking <laughs> let's say and uh, and it was well done as, as as a party production, it um, yeah, it, it was entertainment, uh, entertaining. We, we, we've we've certainly said in the past, and you reiterated it to me today. Um, we have seen party productions in other things. That's why we have fast graphics, fast yes. music, and we have seen fast demos as well, even though they haven't necessarily been a category. And unfortunately, yes. and we don't see short film fasts except the ones that are really poor. Now this one actually was quite nice, I and, thought. And I would strongly encourage others to try it as well. I, I mean, I want to do it. I mm. uh, was, well, 2009 when, when I was working on demo, There Be Balls, and it took, uh, with, the, with, the, with the whole group, it took two weekends, like two, four weekends on working, working on something, and, and it was before assembly. Mm -hmm. And it's just incredible to see what some people can just make out of thin air at the scene. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I really, really want to see some more tries. If, if they're sucking, sucking once a ju jury can just disqualify them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. And, and, and then there are uh, some groups, like for example, this uh, The Alberts group, uh, they, they do their uh, demos on site. Yeah and uh, during the party and, and that's something that you will see in the, in the quality also, <laughs> unfortunately. But C certainly things that we've seen from uh, certain demo groups as well is they turn up there with their, their productions mostly finished and the <laughs> deadline gets extended and extended and extended. <laughs> and that's never fair on those of us who actually have to then record them or whatever, but still. Right. Um, so just looking uh, fine at the list, I think the only ones we haven't discussed uh, are Dbot, which I barely remember. It was the one uh, 
where the there was this uh, robot. You said the uh, graphics ah. the, the, or the models were nice. No, yes, I did want yeah, to discuss yeah. that with you because it, it, it was. The, the, I thought the models were really nice. I thought the idea was fantastic. I thought the music was really nice. Yeah, just didn't go anywhere though. It, yeah, it, it, uh, the the music was uh, good. It had a good rhythm, mm. but uh, somehow it was uh, it was uh, lacking that uh, con contact with uh, the graphics, mm. and they, they just didn't sync up. Well, I if you're watching out there, uh, Skyway and Silent Village, I believe it was the Skyway that, that made it with Silent Village and did the music. Uh, if you're out there, I would heartily recommend you concentrate on that because you did some really good work there. So uh, if you give it a, a little bit more pace, then I imagine you're onto a winner. Yeah, you certainly are. It was uh, definitely promising. Absolutely. It's actually yeah. a very general tip for everyone making uh, demos or short films to. Uh, put a little more effort on the direction. Direction. I mean, uh, most of the uh, demos or short films or whatever, or, or even music pieces you see, tend to be too long. Mm. As in, they wouldn't be too long if there was more development in them. They so tend to make a piece of music there are and then very put nice things ideas. Music. Yeah. But people should just take a look at them once more after they're, they have done it, just just to see if there's anything that, that could make it more interesting or what, one cut thing, something out. One thing I, I've certainly found out from making things myself is you, you make 10 things and you always want to show those 10 things and you want 30 seconds on each one even if they're really boring. And uh, 10, 10 things of 30 seconds gives you 5 minutes. Well, don't aim for 5 minutes. If you, if you look at it and go, I need to cut these two, be ruthless. Get rid of the <laughs> extra two. Um, uh, but obviously, there's, there's only certain things you can do. Now, we, we haven't talked about uh, two last ones, one of which I'm going to leave to the very end, and you'll understand why. But the other one is, Hira Sia Kiva Pasca. Um, uh, I'm sure everybody is chuckling at my pronunciation and all the name. laughing at it's the moment. Yeah. As, as always. Oh, is it really? Okay. Well, I, I understand three of those words. Uh, <laughs> guess which, which uh, three they are. Um, what did people think about it? I, the, I couldn't even pronounce the name at the end. SBA, when they listed it out, no idea what it stood for. Um, well, that, that was the only one with real people acting yes. in, in any way. <laughs> it was a foot out the window, I seem to remember, for quite a lot of it. Um, and, and some freaky guy in the end. Yes. So, Mars Effect. Now, this is the one that I would have expected from HBC and maybe touched up a little higher as well. Yeah. Um, there's obviously uh, a bit of um, uh, uh, recognition from the fact that there's Mass Effect. I think it'd be stupid if you didn't say that. There's obviously certain elements of humour in it, which I didn't particularly find that funny, but I thought it was too planned. It didn't feel spontaneous enough. When, when he took off and thought he was going away, and he stopped and came back down to smash into the flag, I thought his engine had failed. No, it was actually him trying to smash it in. So perhaps they need to work on that a little bit, but I think they could be onto a winner. I think, is it fair to say top two? Perhaps. I, no I comments. I I'm, I'm, I'm not in, in position yeah. to comment. <laughs> ah, <laughs> compo crew, yes, yes, yes. I, I, I wouldn't say that. It, it was well executed. I mean, mm. I mean, you could clearly say if these guys have done animation, mm. it was good, but uh, it was bland, if you, uh, as you did say. I mean, I, with, I, when I saw the name, I was like, my, when, then my expectations went pretty high. Mm. I mean, is this going to be some sort of satire, or what is it going to be? And then it's just, well, uh, happy stuff. But, but pe people will hate me for saying this, but HBC did exactly the same in the past. They, they took too long to do things, and it was um, developing the scene, but you just kind of... Not necessarily lost interest, but we're just waiting for the next thing to happen. This did the same. Now, HBC got a hell of a lot better in the future. So maybe in the next year or two, we'll see one hell of a thing. Because their animation skills were fantastic in that. They did really well. Um, I don't know about that. It was uh, obviously a student uh, production at Correct. the university. So mm. it might be that uh, next year there will be uh, different people here. It was uh, Metropolia, wasn't yeah. it? So, uh, so yeah, but I, I would have thought if, if but, they but put their heads together, who knows? But mm. maybe they will uh, 
next year, uh, same people? Uh, are the again? same people, but be it whether they're at the university or they're, uh, they're uh, uh, submitting by themselves. But like I say, with, with, with Blender yeah. and Render Farm these days, anybody can do it. You don't need to spend 5,000 pounds on, uh, 5,000 euros on some th uh, 3DS Max or whatever. Could I send a message to these guys now? Go for it, uh, very quickly. Very, very, short time. very nice work, but please have a group. Because this Team Mars effect was done by organizing because they had indi individual credits mm. and there are like six of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. So create a group and uh, start uh, growing your name as, as a group. Especially if you're last, uh, the last guy on the list was Dan Foster, uh, which I know three Dan Fosters in the UK, <laughs> two Dan Fosters in the UK, and neither of them were in this. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, uh, a, a nice group name kind of works. They, so they had a very uh, nice uh, releasing time, though. I think about the um, NASA Curiosity rover, and uh, it, it's going to be landing on uh, Monday. Oh, yeah, um, no, it's tonight. Is it? It is tonight in uh, in US time. Uh, oh, I think it, it yeah. might it's, be uh, August sixth. So you're right. It is. It's Sunday. It definitely is Sunday. Yeah, okay. uh, right. But anyway, we've run out of time. Unfortunately, <laughs> we've managed to uh, discuss all eight. Um, once again, what I will say to to everybody watching is. Um, have a look at them again. The, I can't say this enough. Don't just go based on what you saw in the hall, because the hall gives you a great idea of what it's like. But I think there's going to be two or three in contention for the top spot. So uh, certainly have a look at it again. Other than that, we've just watched the short film Demo Compo Studio. Uh, we're up with the 4K next and the Demo Compo Studio uh, after the Demo Compo, obviously. If I can say uh, just a couple of quick words. Uh, very quickly, we've got 30 yep. seconds, yeah. Please. Do vote. That's that's the important thing. Absolutely, and uh, can't stress that enough. Thank you very much for being watching Assembly TV 2012. I'm Matthew Walsh, also known as Dot Waffle. We'll see you later. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you.